like, what does the dentist have to do with sleep and sleep sure. apnea? Yeah. And wait a minute, not, don't they work on teeth and gums and orthodontics? But, right. you know, this is this is right in our realm. And every single dentist should be on board for this and get trained with this. We are the first ones to really take an in-depth look in the mouth. Even the ENTs, they look right past the tongue. They look right past the teeth. They're not looking at the palate. They're looking at the back of the throat and typically looking for a pathology. Yeah. We're looking at what is the underlying structure that might be contributing to it? Narrow jaws, mm. enlarged tongue, scalloping of the tongue, what we call malampati, where you can't actually see the airway. You can't see the, the little uvula that's supposed to hang down. You know, the little punching bag. Yeah. So, um, so we're looking in the mouth all the time. So for a dentist to be looking in the mouth and not looking at that, to me, is, is just pure malpractice. It's unethical. Mm. You know, even if you don't treat it, you should definitely recognize it.